Hello Scorpio, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. What do we have for you Scorpio? Let's see. Scorpio, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your all, for your overall situation. Let's see. Show me important messages for Scorpio regarding their love life, please. Important messages for Scorpio. Okay. Excuse me. All right. So Scorpio, in this reading, we are connecting here with someone who is very nostalgic about you, okay, with this memory card. This is someone who is reminiscing about good, beautiful moments that both of you spent with each other. This is someone who I feel is missing you. I feel that you have a history with this individual, with this memory card. But you have someone here who is missing you, who is longing for you, and who is, I feel, full of reflection, really, about, about you, about this connection, uh, what you've been through together, as a connection, really. On your side, we have commitment. For some of you, you might be already in a committed relationship. It might be a case. Um, However, I also feel that um, with the commitment, um, it might be indeed uh, someone from your past, like an ex, who, uh, with whom um, you were in a, in a serious relationship. But overall, I see here that your energy is more di directed on commitment, wanting to have this commitment with this person. Overall energy, I mean, in bonding, bonding energy, mutual energy is authentic. It's like there is a need for some sort of kind of conversation, heart to heart conversation. And we have listen as an overall energy. So it suggests that, you know, Scorpio, listen to your intuition, your inner voice, because I'm getting that it's guiding you especially regard, regarding this situation. And I also feel very strongly that someone here wants to talk. And it's like they want to be here out, you know, they want to, um, they want to express something. But with the listen, it's like, could you please listen to me? Could you please listen what I really want to say? Can we have this heart to heart conversation? Can we just, uh, you know, say it how it is and, and just admit certain things? Something like this is showing up. But you have someone here who is reminiscing about the past, who is um, who is replying some sort of kind of events from the past. Yeah, they are they are they are. It's like they are coming back to those beautiful memories that they shared with you, or that this connection. Um, that they were present in this connection. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's energy towards Scorpio and towards this connection, please? The person that we are connecting in this reading for Scorpio. Could you please show me this person's energy? And energy towards Scorpio. And this connection, please. Okay. We have a three of... So we have a page of pentacles, three of pentacles. Don't know why I did that. The hanged man. You might be dealing with Pisces, Scorpio. Show me more, please. Thank you. 
we have a five of wands we have a knight of wands okay we have a four of wands ah, okay, yeah and we have a nine of wands as a side message at the bottom of the deck we have the devil okay so scorpio you might be dealing with pisces i also have so far in this reading capricorn energy with 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 this card so i see here this person indeed wanting to kind of with the page of pentacles making some sort of kind of offer here coming forward maybe this is someone who is thinking how to reach out to you with the three of pentacles this and with the hangman this person cha changed perspective about the whole situation and i'm strongly getting here that indeed uh you might have history with this person it might be your ex but i feel very strongly with the hangman and the three of uh pentacles that this person now is kind of ready to be um, to be more than a team player because um, three of pentacles represents this kind of energy of people wanting to uh, collaborate with each other in order to gain a common goal and when it comes to a uh, love reading in kind of a when it comes to love readings i should have said <laughs> Um, this is this the, there is an indication with the three of pentacles that uh, this person wants to be a team player that they're willing to compromise and i feel that in the past there was a lack of it it was you might even felt that this this connection was one-sided you put all the work and uh, this person was kind of you know only it, it, this person was like a taker you know what i mean they were only taking instead of also Kind of have this balance and instead of having this equal give take in a in a connection well now things are changing here and this is someone with the with the hanged man mm, it's like they've changed the perspective it's like this person's understood or they are rem because they're reminiscing here a lot about this whole situation and connection and this is someone who is missing you with the hanged man also there is a sign that for some of you you haven't been in touch with this person for some time but it's like they fought through the whole thing you know and now they want to be a team player i feel this person has regrets that in the past they were kind of stubborn they didn't want it to kind of uh, be on the same page why because we have a five of wands for some of you it might be a case that you parted your ways with this person in a not particularly good terms meaning there was an argument or there was a disagreement or tension between the two of you and I feel with the with this page of wands, this is someone who reacted in a very kind of reckless way, in the sense that they might have said something and now they fully regret what they've said. Why? Because this person is aware with the nine of wands that uh, you might have your guard up, that this person might have emotionally hurt you. And there is a, because of that sort of kind of approach that they, uh, that they uh, show, um you might you might you might not trust this person mm -hmm. you set very very strong boundaries here and the thing about it is is that with the four of wands they want relationship this is someone who wants to be in relationship it's like that change something here happened i feel that you know there was a time when you parted your ways and this person might have you know tried to kind of move on but with the hangman it's also this kind of energy of being stuck and you know coming back with especially with this energy coming back to to those memories um regarding you and this connection why they are stuck because we have this energy here and it's overwhelming feeling of this person uh, being energetically and emotionally attached to you, Scorpio. This is someone who uh, hasn't moved on. They are stuck on you. They are thinking about you nonstop. But I feel also with this energy as an overall energy, I feel that this person acted or reacted in a certain way um, that uh, was not particularly nice let's say it that way 
I feel also that this person is very insecure. They, some of their actions are coming from the place of fear. They might be very stubborn, very controlling, my way, highway attitude. And I feel with this energy and we have the hanged man and then we have this and five of wands. I feel this person created so much a drama. Um, they were very picky. They might even kind of bring some stuff, not bring, but um, I feel that this person made many comments that they were not particularly uh, nice. And for, for some of you, it might even kind of cause emotional dissatisfaction and disappointment. I'm getting someone who is very confrontational, um, but also like they like keeping, they doing this to keep their attention. It's like reassurance for them that someone cares for, for, for them essentially. And with the hanged man, I feel very strongly that actually this person now, this time apart, made them think. Now they see that they should have, that they should have acted in a, in a completely different way. And they kind of, tr this is someone who wants to make an offer, but page of pentacles, it's not much. It suggests that this person is thinking because the hangman also represents this energy of being very deep in, 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 in one's thought, thoughts, you know, in order to see something differently. So there is a need to kind of, uh, reflect on something. And, um, this is someone again, who is thinking, how to come, how, how to make this, this offer. But also I'm getting with the page of pentacles, it, it's like they want to kind of make this first move, but meaning it's not much, it's a potential. So this, for instance, this is someone who might want to send you a message or who might want to kind of uh, text you uh, saying, uh, how have you been? It's been a long time. Uh, or I've been thinking about you. Something that it's, it's just like a, like a beginning of the conversation. Oh, that's probably the best way to, to describe this energy. I'm getting also very strongly with this Knight of Wands that this person has been very, very in and out, hot and cold, inconsistent. That's why at some point I feel that the whole situation might felt that uh, it was very one-sided, that you were the one who put so much work, care and compassion towards this connection, really. Because Knight of Wands, it's, it's immature. This is immature energy. This is, that represents someone who can be very childish. They, they react on certain things in a very kind of childish way. But also hot and cold, a little bit of a player energy. And I feel that with the Five of Wands, yes, this is someone who speaks before they think and they just create, they've created here um, emotional upheaval. And I feel that at some point it, it really started to kind of uh, make you feel exhausted and and um, and it was draining essentially. That well, I can tell you here one thing: that they want to, uh, they really kind of want to rush in. This is someone who wants to rush in with this Knight of Wands because Knight of Wands is also very active energy. It's very active orientated card, so. They want to rush in, they want to speak, they want to take an action. With the four of wands, they want to be in a commitment relationship with you, but they know. This is someone who knows that you don't trust them with the nine of wands, because this is also a card that represents a wounded warrior. Uh, meaning I've been there, I've seen it, I've know it all. I don't want to be put once again in that sort of kind of situation. And this is someone who is aware that you might feel that way about the whole situation because uh, with the nine of wands, it feels like this person uh, emotionally hurt you. But they are obsessing here over you, obsessing in a sense, you know, they're thinking a lot about you. This is someone who is attached. They've never moved on. No matter how many years pass, no matter how many days or months, they haven't. They are still attached to you. They, ca they cannot forget about you and they are stuck on you. They are stuck on you. Let's see your energy, Scorpio. Show me Scorpio's energy towards this person and this connection, please.
we have okay that's my fault <laughs> excuse me eight of pentacles we have the empress beautiful we have an ace of wands i need to pick that card okay all right show me more please could you please show me Scorpio's energy towards this person and this connection, please? Eight of Swords. We have a Five of Pentacles. One more, please. We have nine of swords and four of swords. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have a knight of cups. So Scorpio, you might be dealing with Taurus, Gemini, Virgo. Well, some of you with the eight of pentacles, empress and ace of wands. For some of you, you might be focusing at the moment at your at your work related situation, your finances, your job. For some of you, you might be entrepreneurs or you, you might have your own business. If that's the case, I'm getting that um, you can expect enormous amount of fulfillment, abundance and prosperity. I feel that you are full of great ideas. Um, and uh, with the Empress, this is a beautiful sign that all these ideas will um will manifest in the most beautiful way you know so this is a wonderful sign eight of a pentacles uh with the empress yes i feel that's what i was getting i feel that when it comes to this situation this connection with the eight of pentacles as it represents a uh, hard work i feel that you were the one who put so much work into this connection with the empress because I feel that you kind of saw expansion, growth um, with regards to uh, this relationship or situation with this person. But also there is very strong emphasis here on, on your energy and this person's energy because you are showing up here as an empress. This is very, very high vibrational energy and they're showing up in Knight of Wands. Empress is here, Knight of Wands is here. So um, this is someone who needs to, and I'm going to say it, and maybe a little bit grow up, okay? Because that sort of kind of behavior, Empress won't, um, I feel that, you know, Empress uh, won't uh, accept as simple as that because Empress is, she is the mother of tarot, she, Male, female, please take it how it resonates. We all have divine masculine, divine feminine energy, but that's divine feminine energy. Uh, she is, as an energy, of course, she, she's very caring, very loving. She represents everything what is beautiful in, 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 in 3D, right? Luxury, good luck, good fortune, growth, expansion, um, birth on, of an idea, or relationship you know depends on a on a on a on a on a surrounding depending on the surrounding cards of course but um overall i'm seeing here that you saw uh expansion and growth when it comes to this connection meaning that at some point maybe this connection can be taken into the next level and with the eight of pentacles you put so much so much work into into this situation ace of wands i feel that you were the one who was always coming with some sort of ideas you wanted to do this to that you wanted to kind of bring that energy that this to to this connection that this person won't be bored you know what i mean um i feel that you were very very creative and you are very creative and i also getting very strongly that when this connection uh was for instance a facing difficulties or there was an argument and you were having a, a quiet days you were the one who um, 
you know, you were the one who uh, kind of, uh, I don't know if it's, the, if it's the right way, expression in English, it's like uh, to take a higher ground and you were the one who uh, kind of uh, uh, reaching, first reaching out to them in order to kind of uh, gain a reconciliation and bring more peace to their connection or the situation. It, it was like, what I mean is like, you are the one who was, uh, uh, you are the one or the, you are the first one really, who was a kind of a, um, extending this olive branch to this person. And then we have an eight of swords, a five of pentacles, nine of swords and four of swords. I feel that within time, this whole situation start, started to become more and more heavier. With the Eight of Swords, I feel um, that at some point you felt that there is no progress regarding this situation because this person is acting in, in a certain way and they refuse to change. And this Eight of Swords indicates that this person might kind of made you feel stuck. And you, and automatically you might felt that um, that this connection cannot be taken into the next level because of this person's behavior. And I feel the whole situation with the Five of Pentacles and Nine of Swords really made you unhappy. It caused so much anxiety, pain. I feel that certain matters were keeping you awake at night. The thought of, of this person or maybe inability to kind of know exactly what's going on. For instance, if this person was, um, let's say, parting uh, long hours, uh, you try to text them, they didn't reply, or they were acting in that sort of kind of dismissive way. Um, I feel that, you know, it was really, really difficult. And this whole situation gave you a headache. You know, nine of swords, it's a very, very challenging energy because it represents stress, worry and anxiety. And it's like a constant thing, even if we're trying to, you know, do everyday things and, you know, take care of business. It's always at the back of our head. It's always there. And no matter what we try to do, if the situation is not changing them itself, this thought is still there and it's very tiring and exhausting. With the Five of Pentacles, I feel this person at some point made you feel that you are not enough and you felt being left out in the cold with no support, no understanding. It was, and I feel that at the end it felt a little bit like a nightmare. Four of Swords, you are healing from this situation and I feel that it took some time for you to fully heal. We have a Knight of Cups as an overall energy. I feel, and I'm going to be very, very honest with you, Scorpio, is that you have a soft spot for this person. And if they were about to uh, communicate or meet up or to send you a message, I feel that with the Knight of Cups, uh, you would not dismiss it. Maybe you would not immediately reply it, but I feel that at some point, uh, you would uh, respond to this person because, uh, you know, that sentiment, it's still there. And that message, it's coming. Okay. So let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome. Show me the outcome for this connection. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. Show me the ad show me the outcome, please, for this connection. For this situation, connection. Scorpio with this person, please. Three of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. As an overall energy for this reading. So on this side, we have a temperance. I'm seeing this person wanting to bring more 
stability, more harmony to the situation. Um, this is someone who wants to reconcile because ultimately they want to be in a relationship with you. Queen of Swords indicates that there will be a conversation, but I feel that uh, you will... Um, I feel that it will be hard to heart conversation. I feel that you will be more listening to this person, what they're about to say, as this card also suggested or suggests. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, I feel that, you know, I feel this is your energy more than this person because they have some explaining to do. And Queen of Swords, you know, as an, as, as an energy, uh, has this very kind of assertive vibe about about her it's it's i feel that you know you will listen to them but as soon as this person will start showing some sort of signs of bs you are not willing to kind of uh, um to accept this or you will demand some sort of kind of explanation or you will let them know in a very kind of classy way that you know that you know don't try that with me i've been there i've seen it i've seen it all don't try that with me. But then we have this Three of Cups, and this is a card of reconciliation, coming together and, you know, spending very nice time with each other. So I feel very strongly, and it's on your side. I'm getting, what I'm getting here is, Scorpio, is that if this person will come forward in the right way, and if they really kind of prove to you that they changed the mindset or if this is someone who will admit that actually, yes, they caused the emotional upheaval to this, to this situation, that they were the one actually that created so much um, stress and an anxiety, who was a bit of a, you know, um, troublemaker here. I'm getting that. I feel that you just want honesty from this person. You want explanation you want this person to to tell you the truth you know to not play any games and i don't see here them playing any games in the outcome with the temperance i'm seeing them kind of trying to be very down to earth because the main goal here is to bring more harmony and to have this reconciliation because at the end of the day they want to be with you with the four of four of wands we don't have any different card here you know we don't have, for instance, seven of wands. It's like blockage. Or five of pentacles. Them being very, very lonely. But kind of playing this victim card a little bit. Because that, with this kind of um, combination of cards, that can it can indicate that. No, this is someone who is fully focused on be having a relationship with you. And... What they are showing me that if there is no contact situation and I attempt to kind of uh, uh, attempt to think that indeed with this hanged man and this energy here, you might haven't been in touch with them for some time. Um, they are coming back. They are coming back. And but they will present a completely different approach that this is someone who will um, who will kind of uh, try to show the different side of days. Someone who is balanced, who is grounded, who is down to earth, who uh, maybe the way they will be talking about the whole situation will be with calmness. Um, it's completely different energy from this one. And certain things will be uh, discussed. Uh, certain things will gain clarity and uh, we have this three of cups, so it feels like there will be a reconciliation or some sort of kind of a, a reason for both of you to celebrate. Overall energy, we have a four of pentacles. This is someone who doesn't want to give up. Again, this is someone who is stuck on you and that's it. I really can't emphasize it more. They haven't moved on and they, they equally are hoping that you are stuck on them you know and as an overall energy i feel that indeed if this someone uh if this sorry if this someone if this person um come forward in the right manner and handle it in a nice way 
and provide you with all the answers to your questions because I feel that you have many questions as well here for some of you I feel that you will be open uh, to uh, for reconciliation and even you know within time maybe forming some sort of relationship with them because I feel that you do have a, a sentiment for this person this is someone who I feel that you loved very much and this feeling of love might be still there the sentiment and with the four of pentacles i have to be honest as it as it is an overall energy i feel that you you also might be momentarily kind of thinking about them and you might have um not fully let go of this person as well you know it's just what they're showing you so this kind of energy is mutual but with the four of swords i feel that you withdraw your energy at some point and you healed from the situation that's why you embodying this queen of swords energy because as much as yes momentarily you might be feeling you know um, you might be feeling the sentiment towards this person you also kind of um you are very logical you know exactly what you've been through and and it's like a balance you know it's not like a some sort of kind of oh yes you're coming back i'm opening you, you know I, i'm welcoming you back with my open arms oh let's forget about what you've been through what we've been through or what you put me through yes yes i'm willing to you know rec to to reconcile with you and and be in a in a in a relationship no no this is different this is different i feel that you are perfectly aware that you have these feelings for this person and that um you still kind of maybe momentarily feeling quite attached to them but with the queen of swords you are very grounded you know it it is also energy of being uh, very intelligent and also uh, very rational about the whole situation that's why this person has to do some work because um i feel that in an event if they will come forward and they'll start you know uh pulling their old tricks meaning being you know very kind of a, a little bit of a charmer player you know that kind of vibe i feel that you are very very quickly and it would be very easy for you to dismiss this person and said listen i am not interested in this mm -hmm. so it's not like you know recklessly yes i want to be with you no no y your energy scorpio is very logical it's you've been through a lot a lot with this energy i can see that and um you are showing up here as a very intelligent person person who who possess all the all this experience and who hasn't forgotten about what happened between the two of you and how this person made you feel that's why they need to come forward here in a different way because otherwise again i feel that you wouldn't have a problem to say no to them because this is a very assertive energy as well but the cards are showing with the three of cups scorpio that reconciliation is very much possible between the two of you so things will be happening expect this person to indeed to reach out and to uh, try to have this heart to heart honest conversation with you scorpio i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe then once again thank you very much for your time i truly appreciate you scorpio have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and once again thank you so so very much for being with me and for your time love and light till next time take care bye